So this is the horse that I've done the video talking about bringing her energy up, bringing her energy back down, working on getting her to stand while I get on, and then working on bringing her energy up and bringing it back down when I'm in the saddle. She gets her energy up, she gets excited, and doesn't want to bring her energy back down. So today we're going to work on that, but the other thing is today I'm wearing my spurs because I need better body control. I need her to handle her body better. So I need to be able to put her body where it needs to be. I want her to get still before I step on. So I need the spurs to help round her body, put it where it needs to be. I'm expecting her to be overly reactive to it. So as soon as I sit down, she's trying to walk off. I'm going to hold her head to the side and I'm going to wait until she relaxes and then I'll release her head. She's not really trying to be bad. There we go. She's not really trying to be bad. She's just expecting to walk off as soon as I sit down. Now I'll ask her to walk this way. Let's go forward. She's kind of fanning my legs a little bit. Ask her to walk forward. She's got to give me her head. Always start off by walking a couple of circles. No matter what horse I get on, green horse, finished horse, I want to walk a couple circles. And that's what I want to do here. Just ask her to give her head to me. Get her attention on me. Let me control speed and direction. Now, I'm sending her forward now. The first video I did of her, I was just sitting, asking her to just kind of chill and relax and wait for me. Well, now, she has done that. She's relaxed and waited for me. Or she has been. See, now we're kind of keyed in on going that way. Going to go over here. She needs to more lock in still to what I want. But I can't just keep working this at a walk. I need to get her energy up, work it more to trot, and then the walk is going to get better. There's, in training, you always want to get your walk nice and then go a little faster into a trot, work your trot, and then work your lope. But certain things, if you'll go ahead and work it at a little bit higher speed, that'll go ahead and make the lower speed solid. It's not everything going to work that way, and it's not going to be with every horse. But that's one thing with this horse that she needs. I need to get her energy up and get it back down so that I control her energy. Now let's walk again. This horse is used to basically going on a straight line. All these circles are different to her. Now this is a, a reasonable walk here. Turn. Head needs to be a little bit softer. Now I'm going to start moving her body around with my legs. We'll see how she handles that. Like I'm, I said, I, she's kind of heavy on my hands. I mentioned that just a minute ago. I need to get her softer. One of the worst things you can do is just flex a horse and not go any further. You know, like the, the horse I rode earlier, uh, Bubba, he's pulling back, so I need to him to give me his head. Once they give you their head, then you start softening their head, and that's the point that she's at. She needs to soften it a little bit more, and I'm gonna do that by bending her body. I had a little bit of contact with my left leg, I'll add leg first, and then I'll add spur. Ask her to move her shoulders over. I'm really surprised she's not speeding up with the amount of, there we go, with the amount of spur pressure I had. Now, as soon as I took it off, that shoulder popped right back into my spur. That's uh, definitely going to be something I'm going to have to work on. Let's ask again. Tip her nose to the left. Push my left spur. Push. She's pushing into my spur. Giving me a little bit, not a whole lot. Let's talk about her head. See how she's tossing her head? 
a horse pushes here to get their head up. The two points work together. When the horse pushes on your hands, they push with their front feet to brace to get the leverage to push on your hands. So when I ask her to move her shoulders over, lift her ribs, I'm taking away her leverage to push with her face. Well, when they're pushing back here, that nose is gonna start going up. That's one of the first things you see. And, I, and she was already pushing there, that's why I'm working this. We're gonna get her ribs softer, and in the process, we're gonna get her face softer. She's pretty, pretty hard on my hands. She's pretty strong. They had been riding her in a tie down because she was pushing. Now we gotta go forward. Now she just kinda locked her feet down, locked both feet down. I'm gonna have my work cut out for myself with her. This is gonna be tough with her. Walk my circle. Push with my right spur. I really thought I would get more forward when I put spur on her. And it's just the opposite. She's actually slowing down so she can plant her feet and push harder. The last thing I need to do is start banging on her. If I bang on her with my spur, she's just gonna stick harder. What I have to do is push and then when she does soften, I need to relax, take the pressure off so that she can get the reward. There we go. That was a little bit of a step. It wasn't a lot. It was in the correct direction. Let's do it again. Right leg, right rein. Push, push. One more. Push. There we go. Still hard on my hand. This I have my heavy snaffle on her. This is what I've been riding her in since she came in. Normally I swap bits every third ride, but for what she's doing, this is the bit that I need. I'm not going to get this done near as efficiently in my regular smooth mouth snaffle. And she's not ready for a leverage bit. There's too much resistance here. Push with my left leg. Push. 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 There we go. See how her head come down and relax that time? That's what I'm after. Her head relaxed, her shoulders lifted, her head relaxed. I rewarded her. Now we gotta keep going forward. The horses that you see me riding in my videos, these are all horses that were sent to me for a reason. There, that was better, off my right leg. And what you see is me working those horses. We don't script anything, we don't plan anything. It's just the horses that I'm working at the time we're videoing. There we go, good girl. That was better. So a lot of like this stage where she's at, I'm doing this because this is where she's at. I haven't done this with her before. I'm seeing how she acts, how she takes it same time you are. I need more bend. She's trying to bring her head to the left, which you would think that would be what I would want since we're going left, but that's not what I want. I need to break the shoulder control loose from the head control. I need to be able to control her head or to control her shoulders no matter what her head is doing. And as soon as I started pushing with my right spur, her head went up. Give me another one, another step. Give me a step. There, I release. And let's get back going forward again. Now let's do that again, right rein. Get her head to the right since she's really wanting to keep the head and the shoulder control locked together and I need to break it loose. And right, right leg. There we go, good girl. She didn't step across much, but she lifted her shoulder and her head relaxed down. Not exactly the end result I'm looking for, but it was 
less resistance, which is a step in the right direction. Oh, we gotta keep walking. So this, this horse needs a lot of this. I'll be doing hours and hours of just this, breaking these shoulders loose. She's been rid, ridden with a tie down uh, for a while, I guess. Don't really know, but she's pushing with her face a whole bunch. And you're running timed events or open, and you put the tie down on for the horse to brace against the tie down and balance against the tie down. The theory makes sense, but the problem is people just put the tie down on right from the beginning before the horse even knows how to use his body correctly. It's true that the horse will balance on the tie down and work better, but if you never teach them how to work correctly to begin with, you're not gonna get the benefit. So what I'm doing here, this horse is gonna change careers. She's gonna go into some ranch work, versatility ranch horse, ranch ride and ranch trail. That's, that's the goal. So we've gotta do away with the tie down and I've gotta, there we go, good girl. I've gotta undo what she has learned by riding with the tie down and then I have to go teach her to use her body correctly that was skipped when they first put the tie down on her. I'll be working a cow with her soon. I mentioned that in the last video. She really wants to work a cow. She keeps her eye on them while we're here working. But I don't have the body control yet that I need. If we're gonna work a cow, I need to be able to position her correctly on that cow. If I can't position her correctly, we're just chasing a cow. We're not doing anything productive. Now she's pushing again on my right leg. Really push it. There we go. I got one step, two steps. I ain't even pushed on her with my leg that time. And she's complaining. So I'll be doing lots more of this. She has a long ways to go with controlling her body. This is Star. I'll put a link up here to the other videos that I've done with her. Until next time, thank you for watching.